everyone, I'm Dean Ayala, a game designer on the Hearthstone team. Today, I'm excited to talk to you about a new type of deck we're adding with the Witchwood expansion, Odd and Even decks. One of the major goals we have with every expansion is to introduce a variety of fun and interesting new strategies so that when launch day arrives, Hearthstone feels like there's a whole new world of decks to play, learn, and tinker with. That said, when creating a new card, we often ask ourselves this question. Is adding this card going to create something exciting that you haven't seen before? Enter Baku the Moon Eater and Gen Greymane. Baku is a card that asks you to build a deck with only odd cost cards and rewards you by upgrading your hero power. Gen asks you to build a deck with only even cost cards, then rewards you by reducing the cost of your hero power to one mana. Both of these upgrades have great synergy with how the odd and even decks play. If your deck is full of odd cost cards, you're probably not going to have a great turn two play. However, if you don't have a card to play, what better way to use your mana than to use your upgraded hero power? Reporting for duty. For even cost decks, you usually end your odd numbered turns with one extra mana to use. Luckily for you, now that your hero power has been reduced in cost, that extra mana is easily utilized. Because both of these cards are neutral, you can use either of them in each of our nine classes. That means both of these cards together represent a total of 18 new styles of decks. So, when we make an individual card that requires you to make great deck building sacrifices, the power level of that card has to be relatively high in order to compensate. It can be frustrating to build an entire deck around one specific card and not be able to count on drawing that card every game. So we love the idea that Baku and Gen trigger your hero power from the very start of the game. These decks can also be pretty interesting to play against. Now that you have a bunch of new information about what cards are not included in your opponent's deck, you know that if you're playing against an odd cost mage, you know they can't play even cost cards like Meteor or Blizzard. Or if you're playing against an even cost Paladin, you know they won't have cards like Alvar Peacekeeper. Now that you know some of the reasons why we're excited about the odd and even mechanic, let's talk about some specific examples of decks that we had fun playtesting. First, Odd Warrior, which gives you access to one of the most famous hero powers in Hearthstone history, Tank Up. Tank Up is the upgraded hero power that grants you four armor every time you use it. The trick when building the odd cost warrior is finding a deck that takes advantage of extending to the late game without being handicapped too much by not being able to include even cost cards. We thought it was time for the return of a popular Angoro deck, but with a new twist. Taunt Warrior. Many of the popular taunt creatures such as Stonehill Defender, Tar Creeper, Direhorn Hatchling, they all fall on odd cost. So we found there is little sacrifice if you want to be able to complete the Angora quest, which of course is also odd cost. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Tank up is great and all, but the late game, it's just not what you're all about. You, like many other Hearthstone fans out there, aren't really interested in going to turn 20 to turn 30. You want to go somewhere different, somewhere, somewhere special. You want to go base. Here, we had fun with another odd cost deck and the return of an old fan favorite, Base Hunter. Playing Face Hunter with Baku in the odd cost deck upgrades your hero power to deal three damage to the enemy hero every time you use it. Face Hunter loves having a variety of one drops, which fortunately isn't a problem for odd cost decks. You know who else doesn't care about having even cost cards? Wolf Rider. Kill Command. Eagle Horn Bow. And most importantly, Huffer. We had some fun playing and building this Hearthstone classic, and I have a feeling there are some of you who might enjoy it too. Those are just two of the decks we're looking forward to playing ourselves, but we're most excited to see what decks the community comes up with when Witchwood goes live. So let's talk about some new cards that support these odd and even cost decks. Here is the first. Black Cat is a three mana, three, three minion with spell damage plus one. As an additional bonus, if your deck has only odd cost cards, you get to draw a card. This does a great job of allowing you to refill your hand while also playing a large enough minion to contest the board. The next card I want to talk about is the Druid card, Gloomstag. Gloomstag is a 5 mana 2-6 with Taunt that reads, if your deck has only odd cost cards, you gain 2-2. Two, two. If you satisfy that condition, that's a 5 mana 4-8 Taunt. The upgraded Druid Hero Power allows you to gain 2 armor and 2 attack every turn which is fantastic for extending the late game and outvaluing your opponent. 
Gloomstag is a great option for decks that want to make sure that they can get to those late game stages where your hero power starts to overwhelm your opponent and swing the game back in your favor. For the wild. Next, we have an even deck supporter in the Shaman card, Merkspark Eel. Merkspark Eel is a 2 mana 2-3 two, minion, and as a bonus for building an even cost deck, it also allows you to deal 2 damage. This is great for shooting down minions to protect all those totems you'll be summoning if you also have the 1 cost hero power granted by Gen Greyman. The last card I have to share with you guys today is one of my favorites. It's the Priest card, Glitter Moth. Glitter Moth is a 5 mana 4-4 four, four minion that will double the health of all other minions in play, so long as your deck only contains odd cost cards. This goes great alongside a deck full of high health minions because you'll be able to heal those minions up with the upgraded hero power that comes with making the odd cost deck. Well, that's all the time I have today. Make sure and stay tuned as we'll be revealing more cards as we get closer to the release of The Witchwood. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.